This video is presented by Print23D. Okay, so I get quite a few questions about the solid versus sparse printing method. So I'm going to show you how that works. Here we have a model that I designed. Um, this would be one complete model if I would have let it finished. But uh, what I did is I stopped it halfway through the build. And uh, this would have actually been two complete models if I wouldn't have stopped it. So over here on the left we have the solid model which is one solid piece of plastic. Over here on the right we have the sparse model which you can see it has a pattern in there and uh, that is called the sparse. Now what that allows me to do is to save printing time and material which is expensive uh, to make the finished model. And there you can compare the two parts. As you can see this saves quite a bit of material. It leaves a thin wall all the way around the part and uh, then it just puts in the web pattern where it needs to for strength. Now this turkey here is not sawed. He has that pattern on the inside of his body here and in his head. Now, as you can see, you can't tell that he's a sparse inside. Now also, this wheel here also has a sparse pattern on the inside. And you can't tell that it's sparse. This would have took much longer and would have cost a lot more to make if it was a solid piece of plastic. Now over here is an example. This big tower here has a sparse pattern all the way up through which would contain a couple cubic inches of material if it was not sparse. Over here you can see the part of the legs which also has a sparse pattern all the way up through from the toe all the way up to the top. This gray material here is just the uh, support material for the model. So that is the solid versus sparse.